we've been looking at the stars throughout our entire history. So anytime you can get a little closer, and this is inspirational. The money and the passion that's going into the space industry is going to have far-reaching effects beyond just space. I think that there are a ton of amazing things that will happen between now and 2030, 2040, 2050. 12, 11, 10. Humans have been venturing into space for more than six decades. Today, there's more access to outer space than ever before. What lies ahead? Let's explore the future of space. Space tourism is still in its infancy, and as of right now, there's not a whole lot to do in space. It's like a very expensive roller coaster. We're a long way, I think, from having people who are basically untrained astronauts go out and do extravehicular type activities. Also, long-term stays in space are not easy on the body. This is beyond 2030, but maybe you do see space hotels where you have the ability to do a moonwalk. Who knows, if there was a colony on Mars, then that might be a place that you go for a year. The most important thing that I think we have to keep in mind, despite the 600 or 700 individuals that have actually gone to space, space should exist within an industrial concept to support the people on Earth. I do believe that point-to-point -point transport will be a use case that is not explored or thought about enough today. Point-to-point -point transport is the idea that I can launch a rocket from New York and land in Paris in 30 minutes. Thousands of tourists aren't yet going to space, but thousands of satellites are already out there, helping us communicate, predict the weather, and understand our planet. Thousands more are on the way. If every single concept were to launch in full, we're expecting to see thousands and thousands go up in the next 10 years. It will help bring internet to people who maybe don't have access right now. It will be able to track emissions. It will be able to give you a better read of certain storm systems, and you'll be able to maybe track that earlier. The idea of being able to connect yourself to the internet anywhere, whether you're flying on an airplane over the poles or in the wilderness in Alaska, is something which these new types of capabilities are going to enable. The more mass that we can put into space, the more likely we'll be able to find something interesting to do with it, whether that is ultimately manufacturing or assembling in space uh, or moving beyond uh, cislunar space. The cislunar economy could be several different things. There's been a lot of different proposals. This could be things like mining asteroids, this could be things like manufacturing in space. More space activity also means more space debris, which could become a big problem. The likelihood of a collision is much bigger than if these were just static objects. Something as small as a little fleck of paint can cause real damage to something like the International Space Station. So being able to track every space object is going to be really critical, knowing where things are, so that you can maneuver your satellite out of the way. The more things that we put up there, the more coordination is required, the more intentionality that's required, and the more transparency that is required. Uh, and if we're able to meet all of those requirements, hopefully space debris will not be a, a terrible problem. It's an exciting time to be in the space industry, but of course success in space isn't guaranteed. If you're shooting for the moon, you can't have your head in the clouds. I think the most important message to any CEO, investor, or interested party in the space industry today is if you don't think you're going fast enough right now, you're not going fast enough right now, you should be spending as much time removing roadblocks to speed as you are creating new processes or coming up with new ideas. You need to balance the dreamers and the hard-edged practical people. This is a very inspiring place to be. It drives a lot of innovation. You can attract hugely talented individuals to work for you. But at some point, if you're a CEO and you run a business, you need to make money. So I would push people with visionary ideas to make sure that they also align with a really clear market need. Just because something is really cool does not necessarily mean that you'll be able to fund it. For more, visit mckinsey.com forward slash future of space.